Good morning and welcome to Unspoken. I know that you have a choice in what you view. So I am so grateful and thankful to the Lord that you have chosen to watch this series of Unspoken. So thank you so much for that. Let's get into the Word of God this morning. And we have entered the Hebraic month of Nisan. And this is the month of the Pesach or the Passover offering. It is also the month, the sages say, that is, that is the awakening of the earth above and below. So the awakening of heaven and the awakening of earth. It is the month of Nisan, and this is the month that the children of Israel crossed over into uh, uh, the promised land, their promised land, uh, through the Red Sea. And so it is the, this is the month that, that God released them from the hard taskmasters of the Egyptians, and they crossed over. So we find the, the Passover account in Exodus, and so I, I ask you to go back and read that because I don't have time to do that. So I'm just going to pick out some scriptures so we can understand what's going on and what Passover really means. Hallelujah. So let's go to Exodus chapter 12, verse 7 through 11. And this is the word of the Lord. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they eat. Then they shall eat the flesh on that night, roasted in fire with unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat. Verse 9. Do not eat it raw, nor boiled at all with water, but roasted in fire, its head and its legs and its entrails. You shall let some of the, excuse me, you shall let none of it remain until morning, and what remains of it until morning you shall burn with fire. And thus you shall eat it with a belt on your waist, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, so you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So let's look at that word. The, the Lord, the lamb, was chosen to be sacrificed as the Pesach, or the Passover offering. In, in, in Hebraic understanding, we must understand that that the sacrifice was not, oh hallelujah, was not giving up something, but it was to draw near to God. So they offered sacrifices in order to draw near to God. Hallelujah. And so the word, this word Pesach, oh Jesus, means to hover over. So, so they, they wanted the Lord, the Lord, the offering allowed the Lord to hover over the children of Israel when they were in when they were in their homes and, and the Lord asked them to put the blood on the lentils, I, I, I submit to you that the Spirit of the Lord went in because of the blood and hovered over the children of Israel to keep them from being destroyed. Read your Bible. You'll get an understanding of that. So listen, listen. So John chapter 1 verse 29 says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So he's talking about Jesus. It was the blood of the Lamb that caused the Spirit of God to hover over the children of Israel and when they apply the blood to their to their doorposts to their lentils and it is the blood of Jesus that allows him to hover over us oh Jesus in this season in this Passover season this, this is an opportunity for us to allow him to hover over us in a new way hallelujah so it is the blood of Jesus that 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 it was the blood of Jesus that made a way for us to have a relationship with Jesus Christ because without that blood, we could not have relationship because we were not able to approach uh, the holy place. We were not able to come in, but because of the blood, oh Jesus, we're able to have a relationship. So let's go further. During the month of Nisan, the glory of heaven was revealed to the world. How was the glory of heaven revealed to the world uh, during the month of Nisan. This is what happened. Go back and read your Bible. I'm going to give you just an overview of what happened. Listen, the children of Israel, when they were, oh hallelujah, when they were at 
uh, they were at the Sea of Reeds, or they were at the Red Sea, and the 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 Pharaoh's army was coming, and they were at the Red Sea, and and they needed it to part. And so what happens is is that God tells Moses, okay, don't don't be fearful, don't be fretful, stretch out your rod. And when he stretched out his rod, the the sea, oh Jesus. Uh, parted, and they were able to go forth on dry ground, people of God, on dry ground. So this is what this is what this is talking about. It says, during the month of Nisan, the glory of heaven was revealed. The glory of God, the power of God, the authority of God was revealed during this month of Nisan. Jesus, listen. Uh, ex ex this is Exodus 14, 15 through 18. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forth, but lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, he says, and I indeed will harden the hearts of the Egyptians and they shall follow them. So I, listen to this, so I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army and his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians shall know, O oh Jesus, that I am the Lord, when I have gained honor for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. The Lord gained honor. Not only did he gain honor, he gained notoriety. Not only did he gain notoriety, he set himself up during that time as the king of the universe. Because, listen, they, oh, Jesus, they were backed up against the wall. They didn't know what to do, oh, Jesus. So during this time of Passover, when you're backed up against the wall, it's time to call on the name of the Lord, to cry out, oh, Jesus, on the name of the Lord, and he will answer. And, and this is what I found out. Listen, that, 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 that word cry out, when you begin to cry out, this is what we talked about yesterday in, in service, that, that cry out, the, when God hears our cry, why does he do that? Because in ancient Near East culture, it was customary for a person to cry out. And when you began to cry out, that person who heard you cry, if he did not answer your cry, he was held accountable for not answering your cry. So what does that say? God says, I hear you. I hear your cry. He is held accountable for hearing you cry out to him. Not only is he held accountable, but he'll do something about it. So it's time to cry out, oh Jesus, because you know that God hears you. This is the custom of the ancient Near East culture. They knew that when they cried out to God, he heard them, oh Jesus. Oh, And so listen, he gained honor over Pharaoh, he gained honor over the, all the chariots, over the soldiers, because he established himself as the king of the universe. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he pronounced judgment. Listen, God pronounced judgment on Pharaoh, and he will pronounce judgment on on your enemies when you let him fight your battle. What do I mean by letting him fight your battle? That means that all you do is sit back and pray, oh Jesus. And God will take up your cause and he will fight your battle. You don't have to um, cuss people out. You don't have to talk about folk. All you got to do is give it to the Lord and he will Fight your battle. Hallelujah. So, so listen, this is what the sages say. That the kingdom of heaven was revealed in speech when the children of Israel was released from hard bondage. It was revealed in speech. In other words, the deeds, hallelujah, the deeds of God, what he did at the Sea of Reeds, what he did at the Red Sea, spoke for itself. Hallelujah. And listen, and 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 when you track it down in scripture, you and we go to Rahab, you see Rahab said, we already heard about your God. Oh, Jesus. Listen, so he was able to be defined in speech and it went all over the universe because now God is the God of, the king of the universe. Oh, Jesus. And, and it, it is through this mass exodus of the children of Israel that, that they moved from from a nation of just children, now they move to a nation of power. Oh, Jesus. And it is God. Listen. It is the God 
of, of our salvation. It is the God who 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 created the universe, uh, delivered them. And so God, we have to look at God now in a different way because God's existence is continuous. It is not dependent on me. It is not dependent on you. He is dependent on no one. And that's what makes him God. It's a God who is not dependent on anything. He's not bound, oh Jesus, by laws of limitation. So stop limiting God because he's not bound by any laws of limitation. Listen, he is true perfection. Oh, hallelujah. He, he has no deficiency in him. And we see that at the Sea of Reeds. There is no deficiency in God. And so, listen, when the children of Israel emerged from exile, they had a status change. And, and, and because they had a status change, they had a speech change. So now, now, oh Jesus, they are no longer just a bunch of ragtag people uh, in slavery in, in Egypt. No, now, oh Jesus, they are the redeemed of the Lord. The scripture says, let the redeemed ah, robo kosha, of the Lord say so. So, so what, what, what are you saying, oh Jesus? Does your mouth line up with your status, oh Jesus? Because when you accept him, when you live for him, when you uh, uh, allow him to, 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 when you surrender to his life, to surrender your life to his, when you allow him to have direction over your life, then there's a status change. And with that status change, your speech needs to change. Oh, Jesus. We got to change the way we talk. We got to change the way we say things. We have to change our perspective because the month of Nisan is the month of the king. Oh, Jesus. It is the month oh, Rabbi Shaya, that Jesus will be crucified. It is the month that he will Hang on the cross, oh Jesus, for our sins, hallelujah. And so, what are you saying, oh Jesus? What's coming out of your mouth that, 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 that indicates that you are a child of the Most High God, that you are a child of the omnipotent God who, who, who does not depend on anybody, oh Jesus, for anything. He's God all by himself, as my grandmother used to say. Listen, so what are you saying? You know, the Lord, the Lord stopped me from saying, it's always something. He said, stop saying that, oh Jesus. Stop saying it's always something. Because when you say that, you set it up to be always something. You ne we need to change, oh Jesus, the way we speak. Because we serve a, a, an all-powerful God. We serve a God with all authority. And so when we put his words in our mouth, oh Jesus, they, be they begin to create our future, oh Jesus. So this is the season. This is the season now to pass over, to cross over. It is the season to cross over from, from destitute. It is the season to cross over from defeat. It is the season to cross over from whatever you're going through because there's something different on the other side. God has something prepared for you on the other side. The question is, are you ready to cross over? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so this is a season in which he's saying, I need you to cross over into the fullness of what I have for you, oh Jesus. And so when you cross over, listen, when they crossed over, they began to praise. When they crossed over, why did they begin to praise? Because everything that the Egyptians had, the, the shields and the jewelry, if you, if you look, if you study ancient culture, you'll see they crossed over with, with jewels and silver everything that they had oh jesus did not go down with them it was all it all came up on the shores of the red sea and they began i know Boshaya, miriam mary uh, moses's sister began to pick up a tambourine and began to play and began to prophesy listen there is breakthrough oh jesus in our praise there is breakthrough god has something for us in this season but you got to cry Cross over to get it. Listen, let praise, I don't you. Let the praise of God come out of your mouth. Let the praise of the Most High God fill the room wherever you are so that your breakthrough 
can be released and you'll be able to cross over in this season of Passover. So it's not about Easter. It's not about a bunch of eggs. It is, it is about the redemption. This is the month a redemption. It's not about all that other stuff that we learned when we were children. It is about Passover. It is about the blood of Jesus allowing us to have a relationship with the Most High God. Cross over, people of God. Don't be left in this season. Ask him, say, Father, what, it, what does it take for me to cross over in, into my breakthrough in this season? Hallelujah. I hope this message has blessed you Listen, subscribe to us. Hallelujah. Uh, like us on YouTube. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Shalom. Shalom.